we've got a condensing unit that's running but not cooling i can already hear that the compressor is not on the fan motor is on let's switch that to amps we've got less than an amp that's just a fan looks like the contact is fully engaged first thing i always check the most common problem pull the disconnect secure the power to the condensing unit verify that the power is off I'm going to check this dual run capacitor. They usually don't hold a charge, but just to be safe, you can discharge it by going from the common to Herm and then the common to the fan. Next, grab your multimeter. Make sure that it can read microfarads, which is MFD. So here's our common. I'm going to take my meter probe, stick it in that hole. Make sure that it's nice and tight. And here's our Herm. I'm gonna stick the other probe in that hole. And then watch the meter slowly rise up. We have 3.1 microfarads between common and Herm. And we have four microfarads between common and fan. Fan's running though, that's not the problem. I'm still gonna replace this capacitor. This is a bad run capacitor. The rating for this capacitor is five microfarads for the fan by 45 microfarads for the compressor. We only had three, so this is not even close to being in range. This one is just held in by one screw. Now, I do not have a 45 by five dual run capacitor, but I've got a 45 single run capacitor and a five MFD run capacitor that I can make work. have to shorten this strap a little bit. I've got my five microfarad single run capacitor. I've got some plumbing strap. Just want to get that at a nice spot so I have a little wiggle room. Give it about five or six bends. You don't want to use too long of screws if you're making new holes, mainly because there's coils behind here. That would be bad if you ran one into that. Now to hook these up, we have our fan wire, which on this diagram is brown. You need to consult your, old, your diagram to verify what yours is. I'm going to use this red as a common, purple, yellow for Herm. Now we need to make this a dual capacitor on our fan because our fan needs a common to power. So you can either jump this from the capacitor, which is probably the easiest, or you can do it from the contactor. Just make sure you don't put it on the Herm side. You want it on the common side of the run capacitor. Again, consult your wiring diagram. This is gonna be different in your situation. Gonna get my amp clamp ready and then reapply power. All right, we're at 11.6 amps, 11 and a half. Compressor's back pumping. That is one of the most common fixes for a split system air conditioning unit. I made this for apartment maintenance technicians that are beginning an HVAC or HVAC beginners. If you're a homeowner and you do this, um, do it at your own risk. You can kill yourself, blow your equipment up, cause a fire. You can do major damage if you don't know what you're doing. This is not a do-it-yourself video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I hope this helps some of you out. Until the next fix, I'm Dave. Hope to see you there.